Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today you're joining me back on the van build series that I've been starting to do. So in the last episode you saw me stripping out, doing the floor and starting the insulation with the foil insulation. And then I stopped it there and I was going to carry on with the next stage of the insulation process. As a detailer, now it's coming into the winter, I used to find that all my products were freezing, the water tank hose was freezing, all the cloths were starting to get colder and wetter, there was water dripping from the van from the condensation and it was just an absolute nightmare. This year I decided to get all the van fully insulated, get it all fully done so we have no issues with any products, no issues with cloths, all the equipment's working fine and then we can just carry out our normal day as if it was a normal working day. I'm looking at doing these videos to help show some of you what you need to do to help to insulate your vans because I know there's some people that are not 100% sure on what to do when it comes down to insulating their valeting or detailing van and it's essential to do it so you have no problems when it does start to get colder. It's now January, we're coming into that time of the year where the temperatures are starting to drop um, and it's going to be a lot harder to clean cars um, in this sort of time of the year and the last thing you want is to be waking up in the morning, starting a job, no equipment work, all the products are frozen because it's just more hassle on the day that you really don't need. It's tough enough cleaning the cars in these weather conditions without all the hassle of dealing with everything that's in your van. So what I've done, I've started to film the insulation process which was actually on my phone because I didn't have this camera with me at the time. So what I'm going to quickly do is show you where I got up to with the camera footage that I've got and then we'll come back, finish off the rest of the van because it's still not 100% complete because there's a couple of more bits that I needed um, to finish the van insulation wise. So I'll switch over to the camera footage that I've got now which will include some of me showing you the process of insulating it with the insulation that I'll show you in that um, along with a couple of time lapses and then we'll come back finish it off um, and then hopefully that should be the insulation process done and then we'll be moving on to the racking and all that sort of stuff in the van. Right, hopefully you've caught up with where we are with the van build. I'm currently in the back of the van now. Um, there's been a few more changes as well since I've last done that video um, which I'll show you now. So in the last video I got up to insulate in this side here. Um, where we ran out of insulation to do the rest. So I've got this panel, that panel, and in the door panel down there to insulate. You'll have to squeeze the mess, and also we have started with some of the racking. So ignore all this wood here, this wood's basic firewood um, that I've had at the unit that I'm just going to take home and have a little bonfire. So excuse this wood here. But basically, my dad's um, actually built up a shelf so far. Um, that's going to box in some of the stuff. So it's boxed in the generator, as you can see, and it's also a nice shelf. Um, to put stuff on. So basically with the process of the um, rack, and I won't go into too much detail because there is going to be another video on this, but we're having a shelf in here obviously as you can see because it's already up and then we're going to have a separate shelf coming off um, which will come to about here which there will be all boxes for the cloths and then on top of that there will be some smaller sections for some products and stuff like that and also with this section here it's going to be used as a bit of a desk um, for when I need it because I've got a leisure battery that I'm going to connect in somewhere with some sockets. Um, as you can see we've already plied it so I had some ply before which I started to paint which I think I showed you guys in that video um, but that ply I wasn't happy with the paint so we've ended up uh, doubling up the thickness of ply which I'll show you now. So the painted sides are in behind I'm not sure you can see that but that's double thickness of ply um, as you can see we've got to screw them both together so that would hopefully keep it a bit warmer as well um, and it just takes off that painted look so I wasn't happy with the painted look so we've done that with this side as well but I've actually taken it out now because I need to insulate it but basically there'll be shelving unit here like I said that will act as a bit of a desk as well place for the cloths, place for some brushes etc etc here there's going to be a shelf from say that middle section there to here which will contain all the 5 litres and then the 500 mil as well We've got some 500ml products here, but what, what I'm probably going to do with this is take these off, have this for like gloves only, brushes and stuff like that. So we've still got quite a bit to do, but the flooring's done as you would have seen. We started the shelf in there, which is ideal. That side's fully insulated, and um, we just need to rack the rest of it and decide what we're going to do with there. But to, in order to start the next step, obviously I've got to insulate this side, finish insulating down there, and then go from there. These are already insulated, so they're done now. Um, we just need to screw them back up and then give them some sort of paint. I'm not 100% sure what I was going to do with these yet. Obviously I mentioned about paint, um, painting them. But like I said, the paint didn't actually work out. So now I did say that I didn't want to carpet wrap or carpet line any of this. But I think I might have to just so it looks a bit better. Or if anyone's got any suggestions then leave them down in the comments below. The only reason why I didn't want to carpet line it is because days like today it's raining. 
the rain's going to go on the sides and if it's carpet lining it's just going to get absolutely crap and it's quite expensive for the carpet lining so I don't want to waste a load of money doing that and then it ends up getting ruined so anyone's got any ideas for any paint or anything like that to use on this stuff then ideal obviously I've tried that wrap the paint type stuff and it just didn't look that nice it just I don't know it just wasn't wasn't for me I don't know whether I did include that video um, in this but hopefully I have somewhere but obviously next step is finish off these sides get the ply back in so we can fit that back in now because once the sides are insulated the ply on this side can go back in it can get fitted in properly and then it's on to the next stages which will be the racking I also need to figure out what I'm doing with the roof I've insulated that but I'm probably just going to ply that on top um, and go from there but we're making good progress we're making more progress than what we ever have with this van which is ideal we just need to hurry up crack on because by the time we do it winter's going to be over and that's the whole point of this video um, and this series to get it done before winter and show you guys what I'm doing um, with the van um, and the layout of it but let's crack on let's get these sides insulated I'll talk to you a little bit more about the process as well I know I've probably already done that in another video in this um, but I'll talk to you a little bit more and then yeah I'll do some time lapses as well and then we'll go from there see what it's like when it's all back in hopefully it gives you guys a bit of an insight into what you need to do to insulate your mobile valet and vans but I'm in the van I'm just getting set up and figuring out exactly what I need um, for today so obviously you're gonna need full insulation at the ready ideally at this point you've already done the first layer of full insulation and then it's a case of using your recycled plastic bottled insulation or whatever it's called. I think it's just recycled plastic insulation because um, that will obviously fill the sides. And then you're going to need some more foil insulation to put on top um, to create a vapour barrier. I'm not like clued up completely on this. This is just a method that I've seen someone do, someone raved about, so I thought I'd do the same. It might not be um, the best method, it might not be the correct method, but it's a method I'm doing and I'm like... 60-70% um, in now so there's not much I can do from this point onwards other than live with it. The van is definitely a lot warmer to be fair. We had a, a freezing condition the other day, I don't know, it was like minus one, minus two. Um, didn't have any prob problems with condensation, we didn't have any problems with any products freezing, the generator was fine. The pressure washer, I think we did have a problem with the pressure washer but I think it was an airlock rather than it being frozen. But yeah, it's definitely making life a lot easier in these horrible winter conditions. Right, so let's crack on with doing the van. Same process again with the recycled plastic insulation. Hopefully you can still see me. Um, I've got another roll. Hopefully this should be enough to get this finished. Um, it should do. B&Q, £17. I couldn't get any in stock for ages, but it finally come back in stock, which is ideal. So let's get this open, crack on with the van and then we can make a start with the, um, with the sides, which is what people love the most. I think people are more interested to see what the wrapping's like rather than the insulation, but if I could have insulated this van three years ago when I had it, I wish I did. But you live and learn. Do the same again. Hopefully you can see, yeah. So I'm just lining that up, up with the sides, and I don't even think I had to use a knife last time. Just gonna tear it away. Like I said, this might not be the best method, but I'm doing it now, so it is what it is. Something's happened to that, what's happened to that? So where I've left the spray bowl, I've got a bit of glue, which is not ideal. That's the knife. So where I've left the spray bowl, it's got a bit of glue collected up, so I just need to cut that off. work better now. So I'm just going to spray the sides. Yeah, that's better. Like so. Spray the back of this. And then literally just fit in place and then hold there. Just whilst it sets. I think I mentioned in the earlier videos in this, you can't bunch it up too much. I'm not too sure exactly what the crack is, but I don't think it can be compressed too much. So I think the insulation needs to, like, to be able to breathe as such. Like I say, I'm not that clued up on it. It's just stuff that I've read about. So I could probably do with a little bit more there, to be honest. So I'd do that at the top, break a little bit of this off. Just punch that in there a little bit. Because the other thing I was just thinking as well with this, I'm sure if you've got another van, 
and you didn't want to spend all this money again, you could just take all this stuff out. I'm oh, sure it wouldn't be a problem. You can take that off now. So just keep repeating that same process. I'll turn this over a little bit just so you can see that. And it's literally as easy as that. Just try not to get this insulation wet. Although sometimes wet the better, but not in this case. Cool, so now that's done, looks a bit messy to be fair, but once the insulation's on, as you can see down there, once the insulation's on, you're never gonna notice it. So if it looks messy, it doesn't matter because you're gonna put the silver foil insulation over the top. So what I'm gonna do before I finish off that, I'm gonna do the rest. So I've got behind me here, which I'll quickly get the camera and show you. I've got this little bit in here that I'm gonna tuck some insulation in. And then I've got to take this board off and then insulate in there as well. Um, and then that will be the van all insulated, all done. It's just figuring out what to do with the roof. But the sides, which is the most important part, that'll be all done. So I'll crack on with the insulation, I'll come back to the full insulation, talk to you through that, and then show you it all after when it's done. So right, insulation's done, I'm gonna move on to foiling it now. So I'm gonna put this, the last layer of foil insulation over the top. I've also tucked in some insulation, I don't know if you can see, in a couple of the, uh, move that way, so put some insulation in some of the top grooves and stuff. And I've also put it in, just bunched it in a little bit. I just need to push through and stuff. It's coming out a bit there, but yeah, all the insulation's done. I've just put a few bits just up and around just to get rid of it because I had quite a bit left. Um, so I just decided to fill what I can because I'm not going to use it for anything else. But next step, put this insulation on over the top, quite a bit of a va vapor barrier, and then that'll be all the sides done, thank God, and then we can move on to the shelving and the racking. Right, last bit of insulation is now finally complete. I've done the recycled plastic insulation and topped it off with the foil insulation on top to create that vapor barrier that I think it needs. It's now fully insulated inside the van, so it's all fully winterproof, and now it's time to crack on with the ply and the rack inside of it, which is the bit that I'm most looking forward to. I'll quickly show you the progress that I've got to, just so you can see that. So, this is what it's looking like at the minute. Excuse all the mess and stuff like that, but insulation's now in. You can't see the recycled plastic insulation, like I said, so it doesn't matter how messy it looks. And I put the recycled plastic insulation, uh, I put the foil insulation on top. So that's all done. So now it's time to put the ply inside there because um, we've got that cut up as well. And then it'll be on to removing, and then it'll be on to doing all the racking for it. And then hopefully creating a nice space um, that will be perfect for mobile valet in. So, so let's get the wood in, click of the fingers, and it'll be in. Right, if it'll focus, the plywood is in. So as you can see here, we've done again, we've put double the thickness of ply. We couldn't get a sheet big enough for the original uh, sheet that they had, so we've put like a couple of different bits of ply on top. This isn't fixed in yet because um, we need to get some self-tappers to screw it into the van, um, but that'll be ready to now do the racking, which is ideal. Right, I had to cut myself up short because uh, Felix turned up and we were sorting out some stuff this afternoon which we had to crack on with. But I was saying all the insulation in the van is now done which is absolutely ideal. The plywood's back in which is cool which means we can focus on doing the racking which my dad will be sorting out at some point soon. But now the van, the van is fully warm, it's fully sorted out for these cold winter days. It will make it a lot easier carrying out mobile valeting with a nice warm van. And it also benefit if I ever do keep this van and decide not to use it as a mobile valet van, I could turn it into a camper because obviously they've got the windows in um, and it will be fully insulated and all done. Next um, video of the van build will be doing the racking, talking to you a little bit more about exactly what I'm doing, how we're doing it, what we're using um, and then just showing you the process of that. Hopefully we'll do that in one or maybe two videos. I'll try and do the racking in one video, just create some time lapses and some just stuff like that just so you can see the process of that. It's not going to be anything too spectacular, um, but it's just going to be something that's going to be practical for us. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just see where we go with it. But like I said, I'm going to have racking on this side for the 5 litres and 500 mil. Well, that side there will be for the, um, for the boxes of cloths and all that sort of stuff. So I hope that's given you an insight into what you need to do to insulate your van for mobile valet and uses. Hopefully this might even give some of those um, an insight in what to insulate the van with, even if they're not using it for mobile valet in. So they might be using it for camp or, or, or anything like that. But yeah, hope you like this video anyway. Let me know down below if you're camping your van, if this is the method that you're using, or if you've got any tips for me or any, any advice that you can give me on this van build, then please do comment down below. 
Obviously check out all of our social medias, give this video a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're enjoying that, and I'll see you guys and girls on the next one. Ciao.